There are many baffling accounts in the chronicles of strange events, accounts of men who can read another man's most secret thoughts, who can even foretell the date of his own death. Here is one of those stories. It is the curious tale of an incident in the lives of two great religious leaders. Emanuel Swedenborg, the founder of the New Jerusalem Church, possessed occult powers. And no better proof of this can be found than in the curious correspondence which he carried on with that other great religious leader, John Wesley, the father of Methodism. It comprised only three letters, written within a space of a few short days. The first arrived in London on a morning in February in the year 1772. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Mr. Wesley, but there's a letter for you, and it's come all the way from Stockholm. Hmm. Well, I know men in many parts of the world... But none whom I can think of in Stockholm. However, there's one there I'd like to know. Swedenborg. I've heard much concerning him lately. Well, this is remarkable. Listen. Sir, I have been informed in the world of the spirits that you have a strong desire to converse with me. I shall be happy to see you if you will favor me with a visit. Emmanuel Swedenborg. Later that same day, John Wesley penned a courteous reply to Emmanuel Swedenborg. Sir, I have for some time hoped that I might make the acquaintance of one whose name is respected throughout all the civilized world. However, since I am at this moment engaged in preparation for a six-month journey on the continent, I must postpone that pleasure until my return to London. It was on the day Wesley was to depart from England that the second and last of Emanuel Swedenborg's letters arrived. Sir, I deeply regret the circumstances which prevent our meeting. But the time that you propose will be, I fear, too late. For I shall go into the world of spirit on the 29th day of next month, never more to return. Without comment, John Wesley folded this strange message and placed it in his portfolio. It was not until later that the lay preacher brought him news one morning in a little town in Germany. Dead, you say? Yes, Mr. Wesley. I met a man from Stockholm this morning. Swedenborg died quite unexpectedly about a month ago. It was the 29th day of March. The body of scientific knowledge has grown enormously since the days of Emanuel Swedenborg. And new facts are discovered and classified each day, but none has yet been revealed which casts any light on the powers of Swedenborg himself. Powers incredible but true. (laughs) 